what would you like governments to do more? And of course, we've just had the G20 climate talks in Indonesia without a unified statement. Were you disappointed by that? And what's your feeling going up to COP27? Governments are needed. Agreement among governments supported by their constituents, people. <laughs> like all the nations of the world have a common desire to breathe and to have Earth within a safe operating space, if you will, in terms of temperature, space, an ability to feed ourselves, and, and all of those very basic things now at risk because we've taken so much so fast. And especially in my lifetime, particularly since the middle of the 20th century, we have accelerated the consumption of nature and putting increasingly ourselves at risk. So nations, to really succeed economically, health-wise, security-wise, fundamentally, got to face up to protecting nature. I know it sounds like tree-hugging, but I don't care what you call it. The reality is Earth is in serious trouble, and we know what to do. Dr. L, you've been named Time Magazine's hero of the planet. You've been given so many accolades, awards. Do you feel ever that there's so much more to do? And what drives you now? I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. <laughs> I mean, or what else is out there? I mean, never, not even once have I gone underwater and come away without learning something. So far, a bit over 250,000 kinds of organisms have been given names of living in the ocean. More than a million have been named on the land, and we are just beginning to understand how the ocean shapes planetary chemistry, the carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, all of that, but also that the climate and the ocean are just as tightly coupled as anything could possibly be. Climate scientists are waking up to that. We've got to take care of our home, and our home is mostly blue, and we've used it as a garbage dump, and we've used it as an endless source of whatever we want to take out. Until now, we've got to put on the brakes and look at the ocean with a different attitude.